Most of us have it. Pride in our country. But what do we actually know about our country's history, geography, and trivia? That's what fast-paced quiz show National Pride puts to the test, where one finalist competes for a grand prize. Entertaining play-along games for viewers are included from the beginning to the end as well. The fully flexible game flow strategies are made to fit any time slot length. In the first round, for each question the contestants answer correctly. Richard Branson. It is Sir Richard Branson, well done. They score five points. But if the answer is incorrect, their rivals get five points. This keeps the head-to-head -head race burning before the weakest leaves the stage. The lowest score of the day, and that means you'll be going home. In the semi-final, the two remaining players face a grid with 12 categories containing pictures or video footage questions. The scores are 5 to 15 points, which indicates the difficulty level. A player can also shift a category to his opponent, hoping when he fails to gain his points. But just one will make it to the final round. Kate, you have the opportunity of winning 3,000. Five questions about a city in the nation. If all are answered correctly, the grand prize is safe. The contestant must move from city to city to climb up the five steps money ladder indicated on the country map. It's a question about Bristol. Which explorer sailed from Bristol when he discovered Newfoundland? John Cabot or Ferdinand? If the contestant does not think he knows anything about a city, he can leave the game and take the money. Or a viewer at home can be asked for help. But that means that they share the prize money connected to the question. Hello, I'm very well. What's your name? Uh, my name's David. But will the contestant believe a stranger? Um, every, everyone outside of Leeds, just don't phone in. <laughs> uh. This quiz show is ideal for an afternoon or access primetime slot and offers entertainment for the entire family. <laughs> National Pride. So how much do you know about your country?